we've made some changes and enhancements to iSalon version 11.6 in order to help you to comply with GDPR. If you'd like more information on GDPR, you can visit the ICO's website, ico.org.uk. One of the biggest changes that we've made in iSalon is to the client record card. Now when you visit a client's record card, you will see that at the moment, exclude from marketing is still included. As of the 25th of May 2018, and according to GDPR, the exclude from marketing feature will disappear in favour of the opt-in boxes. You can see here there are options to opt into SMS marketing, phone calls, postal marketing, email marketing, and also an agreement for any third party data processing and storage of medical records. If you want to, you can exclude your clients from booking reminders by ticking the box down here. However, they don't need to opt in to booking reminders since these are classed as a service message and not marketing. You also need to think about GDPR with regards to team members. iSound's new feature on the team member record card allows you to show that consent has been given for you to store that team member's fingerprints. You need to ask for consent and then tick the box once it's been given. We've also introduced a new Marketing Essentials feature. Now you can automatically send a message to all clients who haven't yet opted into marketing. This will be the quickest and easiest way to start to collect your opt-ins if you haven't already started doing so. The Marketing Essentials search for all clients who have not yet opted into marketing will only be available until the 24th of May 2018. After this date, you are no longer legally allowed to market to people to collect their opt-ins. Additionally, a new template has been added that when you add it to the SMS message, reads as follows. Hi Joe. New laws are coming in to help you protect and manage your data. There we go. And you can edit that as needed. Another big change that's happened in iSalon is the ability to now be able to delete clients. You must be able to delete a client's data when they ask you that they want to be forgotten. In order to do this manually, you would need to go to the client record card and under the salon admin page, use the delete this client button. Once you use that button, the client record won't be seen in client lists. Under the till where you can review bills, the bill will be there, but the client will be called deleted client. Under completed and incomplete bookings, the client will be removed and that includes any of their previous bookings. The client's balance and points totals will be deleted. Reports that would normally show the client name will instead show the name deleted client. Standby list entries will be removed and the client won't be seen in the arrival queue. If the client was in the till screen, they'll be removed from the bill. The client will be removed from in salon. Marketing will no longer pick up that client name.
If you're restoring an older database where you have clients that have already been archived, please be aware that those clients will be automatically deleted when you restore your database to version 11.6 or later. You can change configuration settings in iSalon so that clients are automatically deleted after a certain period of time and if they haven't visited. In order for the auto deletion to work, your clients must be synchronised with the API. If you're not sure whether or not your client list is synchronised with the iSalon API, you can ring support on 01522 887 200 and they'll be able to tell you whether or not they are. According to GDPR, we now need to give every client the option to opt in or out or change their preferences for marketing every time we market to them. To help with this, under the SMS Center, and settings. Every SMS message will now contain a short URL or website address at the end of the message. This website address will lead them to the client preferences portal where they're able to manage their own preferences. You can give this URL a prefix on the text message by changing this text. And that will prefix the URL that leads them to the client preferences site. This is an example of the site that they'll be sent to. I can see all of my details here and I can amend them if I need to. I can type in my postcode and use find address, which will give me a list of addresses to pick from. I can change my marketing preferences here, and these correspond with the marketing preferences that are set up in iSalon. It's up to me whether I choose to collect opt-ins for some or all of these marketing methods. And if I look under the My Data tab, I can see all of the information that this salon holds about me. This particular salon have opted to reveal notes to every one of their clients so that they can see them underneath the My Data tab. The alternative is to have a button where I can click the button to request to see my details from the salon. All of the settings around clients requesting to see their notes, officially known by the ICO as subject access requests, can be changed and amended in the administration page of your iBookings. If you need any help setting those up, you can call our support team on 01522 887 200. I can also see my service and transaction history. Under the settings tab, there is an option here so that I can ask to be forgotten completely by the salon. Now if I do use this button, I'm then shown a warning which tells me exactly which parts of my data are going to be deleted. So it confirms that my personal data will be deleted, any courses, loyalty points or account balance that I may have accrued will be gone, future bookings will be cancelled and deposits paid for those bookings won't be refunded. It will anonymise all of my booking history and financial transactions. Uh, we're also saying that we'll delete any paper records that we have 
and if we hold any medical records we may be required by law to keep those for a certain period of time. If I want to confirm I click permanently delete my data. It is worth bearing in mind that this message and the short URL that's sent with the link to the preferences portal will count towards your message length. There's also a new marketing opt-in tracking report. So I can keep a close eye on all of the opt-ins. The report shows me client names, the opt-in that's been changed, the date and time that the opt-in's changed, who was logged in at the time that the opt-in had been changed, or whether the opt-in was changed online by the client themselves, and whether or not the opt-in's been activated or deactivated. If a client requests that we send them the link again to the uh, preferences portal, then you can do this from the client record card under the client tab and there's a button here, send client a link to the permissions website. Once you hit that button and they must have an email address because the uh, link will be emailed to them, uh, they'll receive an email with the link on it, they can click the link and access their preferences portal. You may well have noticed at the beginning of the video that we've also updated and improved our iSalon Hub. The Hub has useful links to free guides, how-to videos, blog entries and this year's complimentary marketing planner. To upgrade to the latest version of iSalon for free, call us on 01522 887 200 and choose option 1.